Hi, my name is Barry Foster and welcome back to A-League to the UK. This is episode number six. This is the save where we're starting off with the Newcastle Jets in the Australian A-League. And we want to find out, can we end up managing a side somewhere in the UK if we start off in Australia? And so far, things are going fairly well um, with the Newcastle Jets. Since I last saw you, we played five more matches. Four of them were league games and one friendly. Um, we played um, Melbourne Victory down in Melbourne. And Melbourne Victory, I think from memory, were coming third when we played them. And we beat them 2-1, so that was a very good uh, result. We then came home and played Melbourne City and beat them by the same scoreline, 2-1. We then had MacArthur FC come to uh, our ground and we had another 2-1 victory. And then we went away to uh, Perth Glory and we didn't play very well in Perth. Um, we were pretty lucky to come away with uh, a point, but I was quite satis satisfied in the end with a nil-nil result. And then because we didn't have any game in one particular week, uh, I teed up a, a friendly with the Wollongong Wolves and we beat them five goals to nil. But Wollongong, they weren't really tough opposition for us. So I'm not really reading too much into um, into that uh, that particular result. But probably the, um, the pick of the goals I'd like to show you was probably the goals against um, Melbourne, Melbourne City, where we ended up getting a very late winning goal. Um, and it came very late in the game. In fact, I was quite settled for a 1-1 a, a result at home, which I wasn't going to be too um, unhappy with. But here you can see um, our opening goal, Petratos, out on the left, and he gets his pass into Thurgate, who just, well, puts it straight through the keeper. I think the keeper got his hands to it, but made a real mess of it. And then City got a penalty, and of course McLaren, he wouldn't miss from the spot in a month of Sundays, and he made a 1-1. Then in the 92nd minute, we had an attack down the right by Kantorowski, and he gets a good cross in, and uh, Petratos, far post, just basically stabs it home for a 2-1 victory. So that was um, rather good to see considering it was so late in the game and uh, I was settling for a 1-1 result. Also on the transfer front, um, a couple of uh, new signings for next season. I've signed Jake Brimmer from Western Sydney Wanderers, uh, a young midfielder. He can play in quite a few positions in midfield. Decided to take a punt on him, mainly because Jacob Melling, the player I signed only maybe a month or two ago, hasn't really hit his straps, and I've got question marks over whether he's really going to fit in with the uh, the team. So we've um, be looking forward to Jake Brimmer coming on board, and also we've signed Gary Woods from Aberdeen, a 30-year-old goalkeeper. And this is mainly because Luis um, Italiano will be leaving the club at the end of the season. He really has been number two. Um, all season. He's not very happy about it, so I've decided to um, not offer him a contract. So Gary Woods will be coming on, and I guess he'll either be um, a backup or he's going to be our number one. We'll just have to wait and see how he performs when he gets there. But um, today um, we've got a, another big game, uh, Melbourne victory. It's a, it's a home game, and as you can see by the league table, we're sitting very comfortably on top. After 22 games on 49 points, we're 11 points ahead of um, Wellington Phoenix, who do have a, or we actually have a game in hand. And then 12 points behind us come Melbourne victory. Melbourne City uh, are in fourth place, Sydney FC in fifth, and the Central Coast Mariners make up the, uh, the top six. And don't forget, um, whoever finishes top in uh, the A-League, not only do they win the Premier's Plate, but they do qualify for the Asian uh, Champions League. And at the moment, we're looking pretty good to um, to do both. So as I said, we've got um, Melbourne uh, victory at home today. So it's first taking on third. Let's go and play the victory. OK, well, here's the lineup for today's game against uh, Melbourne victory. We've got Duncan in goal. Uh, Galloway, Topo Stanley, Katrumbas and Hoffman along the back line. Katarowski sitting behind Yugarkovic and Thurgate in midfield. Protratos out wide on the left. Miller on the right and Sumal will lead the line as the uh, attacking forward. Two changes because of um, two suspensions. We've brought in Galloway 
for uh, young O'Toole because O'Toole is out suspended and also Yugarkovic comes in for uh, Jacob Jacob Melling who's also suspended for this game and on the bench will go um, Remy Nazarene and Cole Mutton who can cover the left back position so that's the starting 11 for our game so let's get straight to the team talk be interesting to see what Jerry Payton has to recommend for this game and as you can see, we're up against Grant Brebner. Fairly uh, strong Melbourne victory lineup there. And uh, Jerry Payton reckons go out there and carry straight on from where you finished last match. Well, we did beat Wollong Wollongong Wolves 5-0, but it was only a, a friendly. And Wollongong, uh, they're not a, an A-League side. So um, we've got to take that into account. Maybe we'll take a punt. We'll go with Jerry. And uh, he can do the tunnel interview as, as usual. Once again, a bit of a sparse crowd at the uh, the Hunter Stadium. This game, of course, being played under lights, as you can see. Melbourne victory, only two wins in the past five. So I think if we avoid defeat here, we qualify for the Asian Champions League, which will be quite a feather in the cap for the uh, for the club. And also, um, yours truly, be uh, something good to attain. Anyway, the Jets get the opening 45 minutes underway. This is Golloway out to Petratos, back to Yugarkovic, playing a very long, but to no one in particular. Not a very good pass. Yugarkovic will be leaving us at the end of the season, joining the Western Sydney Wanderers on the, uh, the 1st of August. Bit of a loss. He's been quite a quite a decent player for the Jets over the uh, over the time he's been at the club. But uh, I think we've got some good replacements coming in for him. I'm certainly looking forward to uh, to Brimmer coming on board. But here we are. A bit of a, a bit of an arm wrestle. A bit of a tussle. Only one shot apiece as we go past the ten minute mark. So I guess both sides just feeling each other out in a fairly big clash. First playing third. Of course, earlier today, I think the Mariners, uh, they lost to MacArthur 1-0. So the Mariners have been pushed out of the top six. I think we'll call out a bit of encouragement to the boys, try and pick them up if we can. Some liked it, which is something better than none. But unfortunately, um, scarce is hen's teeth when it comes to highlights. And we're halfway through the first half. Three shots to two. Possession heavily favouring the victory. Gee, 68% to 32. That's not very good possession at all. I just don't know. Are we, are we going to see a highlight before half time? Maybe, maybe not. But a um, bit of a flat, I think, opening 35 minutes for the home team. Um, I would have expected a slightly better display. But anyway, we finally get a highlight, and this is Duncan giving it to Katrumbus. He looks for Miller out on the right. Miller to Yagarkovic, and he's played it forward. Not a, Once again, not a very good pass. Neither is that. And this is top of Stanley to Katarovsky. Now, Golloway, can he start something down the left? He's uh, one of my new signings who can play left or right across the back line, which is quite handy. And this is Kantorovsky again, out to Golloway. Gets his cross in. Whoa! Interesting shot from Petratos. Wasn't far off, uh, off the mark. But at least we got to see a highlight. And it was for the Jets. But maybe that's going to be it until... Um, we have the half-time break. We'll somehow have to maybe fire the boys up at um, half-time because it's been a bit of a flat first half. And once again, uh, possession heavily in favour of um, the victory. And there it is, half-time, all square. Not much action. As you can see, six shots to four. Um, corners, victory five to one. 
Um, XG, well, with nothing much in it really. Um, and no clear cut chances. So, a bit of a dull opening 45 minutes. Now, Jerry reckons keep going out there, you can still win this one. Quite frankly, I think um, we've got to do better. I'm going to point the fingers and say I'm not happy with that performance because I really do expect um, better when we're playing at home, even though we are playing a fairly good side in the Melbourne victory. And this is Acton for victory. Now, Epifano, well, end of the highlight. Didn't get much at all. Well, I think we're the only game being played at the moment um, in the A-League. As you can see, we've got some other friendly scores up there. I don't know why we've got that. I think we'll just switch. That's right, Brisbane Roar and Perth are playing later today. Won't have much bearing on the, um, the top six from memory. But once again, um, oh, we finally got a highlight. Hoffman with a throw, Miller with a flick, header back to Hoffman. Now Thurgate with a cross. This is Petratos. Oh, hits the hits the frame of the goal. That was a good header by Petratos. He's been quite good out on the left. In fact, I think he's been better than Rami Nazarene, the low knee from Melbourne City. And this has been headed away only as far as Kantorovsky. He plays it back to Goloway. He, Puts it forward, but that's easy for Acton. Bit of a theatrical dive there by the keeper. So nine shots to four. So we've certainly been uh, dominating the shot count. We just really haven't made it um, count at all, have we? Anyway, Duncan now with a goal kick. This is Petrumbus, who plays it up to Thurgate. Hits it out to Petratos. Is he going to look for Sue Mao? We really haven't seen much of him in this game at all. And uh, oh, he's lucky he's kept position, uh, possession. Sorry, this is Yagarkovic to Kantorovsky. Uh, Kotrumbus to Topper Stanley. Got to be careful not to give away possession in that, uh, in that area. Now it's Goloway playing a long ball to no one in particular. And uh, Sue Mao has kept it in. This is Petratos. Gets his cross in. Oh, Miller. Nice header, but just just over the bar. I think we'll call out some more encouragement to the team. And I think we'll look at some substitution. Sumail's not having a great game up front. It's a bit disappointing. He's down, he's down to 6.3. This is an interesting uh, cross by the victory, but Miller can now lead a counter-attack. So Mao's not really making a, a, a run for him at all. But he's going to go wide with the ball, Miller. Now he's got players coming into the cross. And this is... Petr oh, no. Good defending there by Rue. Now Kadar for Melbourne victory. He's leading a counter-attack. Good tackle. But Epifano, he gets the ball for Melbourne victory. Oh, this is just over the bar. Well, both sides had a pretty good chance. Melbourne victory in particular... I mean, I think we'll make our first substitution because Sumao is not having a great game up there. I think we'll bring on young Stamatelopoulos. He can play the poacher up front uh, since he's been back from injury. And I think uh, Miller, Yugarkovic, Fergate, Petratos. Mm, Hoffman. Hoffman's not playing well, which is not like him at all. OK, we're going to do a switch at the back. Goloway can go to the right. We'll bring on young Mutton on the left. It's quite unusual to see uh, to see Hoffman not uh, performing well in a game. But we've got a free kick now. Thurgate, the taker, and that's knocked away by Acton. And Falami for victory, he can lead a counter-attack. We've got three guys at the back. This is Epifano. They've got to watch this guy. He's... Going a bit wide, and here comes his cross. And this is Cruz. Oh, Cruz should have made it 1-0. Typical Robbie Cruz, butchering an opportunity. Did I say that? He really should have um, at least hit the target. No doubt about that. We'll ignore that. We'll keep um, Topper Stanley out there. He's playing very well with a rating of 7. I think we'll make some more um, substitutions because... Um, 
we've just got to somehow get the team firing a little bit better if we can. Thurgate, Kantorowski, difficult, difficult, difficult. Young Yule, we can play him out on the right. Okay, I'm going to bring Young Yule out on the right. He can replace Miller. He's not having one of his uh, his best games, and uh, we'll put make him the inverted winger attack. And uh, I think um, we'll pull Yugarkovic back into the defensive midfield role, and we'll put on Young Jack Armson. He can uh, he can play central midfielder support. And we'll demand a bit more from the team as time is running out for us to um, to get a goal to win this match but 10 shots to 7 XG very very uh, very very similar but uh, victory nearly 60% possession so we haven't done well with the ball today which is disappointing and I think we'll uh, we we were playing more expressive. Okay, fair enough. I thought we were playing maybe a little bit too disciplined, but um, I don't think we've been expressive enough today. But it looks as though it's going to be a nil-nil result here in Newcastle, which won't be a bad result. I mean, we'll still certainly keep us top of the table by quite a margin. Only two minutes of a time, and I don't think we're going to see another highlight. We are. The final one, a free kick, Yugarkovic. Bit far out, but he might have a go from there. He's taking his time. Well, good save by Acton. Alicia Garkovic got it on target, but um, do we have enough time for a corner? Last roll of the dice for the Jets. And he's played it short. Oh, that wasn't really the right thing to do. And this is Yule. And that's it, nil-nil. Jets and victory. Not quite the result I was looking for. At least it wasn't a defeat, but um, 12 shots to 8. Um, no one had any clear-cut chances. We did hit the woodwork, which is uh, disappointing. Slightly better XG. More corners to the victory. And um, I guess you could say when you look at the average rating, a pretty even game across the park. And uh, I really, uh, I'd have to say I wasn't really... Happy with that. I'm going to go with that saying. Yes, uh, Sumail is a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, demotivated, but too, too bad. I think. Um, okay, can we? Um, I think we'll send the assistant to this, to that particular uh, interview. So nil nil. So it keeps the Jets on 50 points. Uh, after 23 games, that's 12 points ahead of um, Melbourne victory now uh, in second spot and uh, Wellington uh, in third spot on 38 points. So honours even at the Hunter Stadium. We Yes, another uh, Newcastle Jets have won the A-League regular season title. So that's the Premier's plate that I've mentioned earlier. So that's a bit of silverware for um, the club, which is which is a good thing. Um, okay, Stamatel, Stamatelopoulos worries Newcastle Jets. Okay, he's got a bit of a goal drought, but he, he was out injured, so I'm not going to read too much into that. We do qualify for the A-League semi-final, which is something. And according to this, Foster enters the Australia Hall of Fame. Barry Foster has at last confirmed that he's capable of winning the best managers ever to have worked in Australia after winning the A-League regular season. The talented manager's success with Newcastle Jets has propelled him into the Australian Hall of Fame and judging by his recent achievements, Foster could be set to hit even greater heights. Well, we'll have to wait and see. The fans are ecstatic, of course, that we have won the uh, the Premier's Plate and qualified for a semi-final. The board are ecstatic. That's nice to know. And Topper Stanley praises Foster following winning the title. Well, that's all nice to know. We, we have qualified for the uh, the semi-final. Uh, I don't think we've qualified as yet for the Asians Champions League. But anyway, um, 
The following schedule sees us um, playing three more games. Western Sydney at home, Sydney FC away, and then Brisbane Roar at home on the final day of the season. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play those three games off camera, and we'll come back for our semi semi-final match against one of those sides that are in the top six. But don't forget with the... Uh, with the A-League, the uh, the two teams that um, finish first and second, they go straight into the semi-final. So it's teams finishing third down to sixth. They will be playing off to see who will actually qualify to play either the Jets or the second-place team in a uh, in the semi-final. So that's the uh, that's the um, the video for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Barry Foster. I look for your com company again in um, episode number seven, where we will be featuring in an A-League semi-final. Until then, it's goodbye from me.